Butterfly, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys all doing today? I'm doing amazing. Uh, already getting things started today. I just wanted to start a new vlog. Um, I'm doing laundry currently right now, so I've already got that going. <laughs> it's a warm day again today. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to start a new vlog and just you know take you guys on what I'm doing today. <laughs> um, I was going to try to work on some more things. I made another to-do list. You know me and my to-do list. Always making those lists. Always planning out. Blah, 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 blah. Not going to go into it. <laughs> You're probably like, it's the same thing every day, but not really. This is just what I like to do. I like to tackle different areas, and I like to do it with you guys in my videos. I also wanted to show you guys that, um, I don't know if you guys watched the last the vlog, and you know, most of you do watch all my vlogs, and I appreciate it so very, very much. Oh, and uh, real quick, my little friend here has not left the building. She hasn't moved out. I don't know what's going on with her. I've been putting on my traditional cleaning clear, but I don't even know what's going on. I think maybe because I'm sweating a lot more that she just she just don't want to leave. She loves the sweat. I don't even know. <laughs> and then don't mind my nails. I'm going to redo them tomorrow, not today tomorrow they're getting choppy because i do dishes and stuff like that you ladies know how it is but um uh no i was saying though is that i don't know if you watched the last vlog you know that i was into making the ice and the rubber tray the the uh silicone trays and let me tell you i forgot to show you guys <laughs> that i emptied them in my little container that i put ice in in the refrigerator and they came out so good they're like really chunky and i really like them though because you don't have to use so much ice but you could use like about six pieces and it gives you a nice cold drink for about a few hours so i was super excited hubby already tried some <laughs> But I was even more excited because I actually, actually did some cafecito ones. Now, I know I didn't show you those ones and I completely forgot. Well, actually, and I didn't really forget. I ended the vlog earlier than I did them yesterday or the other day um, in the last vlog. The last vlog was yesterday, but you'll get this video probably like two days later, a day later, whatever. Okay, but um, yeah, and I actually made some more today. So... Um, I'll show you what they look like as well, but, um, and I'll show you, I made a little tray of those, so I have two trays, one of regular ice and a tray of the cafecito ice, which I'm super excited for because I'm going to make iced coffee today. <laughs> I've already got my cup ready to go. <laughs> uh, right now I'm drinking hot coffee though, and then in a few hours I'll drink the iced coffee, but I'm super excited for it. <laughs> um, yeah, and, um. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to get some other things done around the house. I'll take you along with me for a little bit of what I'm doing. Not a whole lot because it's probably the same old thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to start a new vlog today and talk to you guys a little bit today. Um, I like to do that uh, from time to time in my video my, and my on my channel is, you know, obviously we vlog. We show what we're doing. We're... You know what I mean? That's just how it is. <laughs> I also am going to go out later on this evening and water my grass. It needs to be watered. We're doing it every other day so that it doesn't, like, like mess it up too much. But it is flooding it, getting it green, and getting it for where it needs. And then I think this week Hubby's throwing some seed, and we won't be able to cut it or water it for about two to three weeks. So it's going to look kind of bushy, but it's going to look good at the end because it's going to be nice and green and full and just really soft grass. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> but um, anyways, let's get started with the rest of this day and this vlog. And and um, I'm going to take you along with me today. This area over here was a little dirty. i got to just pick up that. And then I cleaned off my table um, and clean the living room just a little bit there was stuff everywhere i do have to vacuum though which i'm going to do in a little while and i got to pick up that area but that's about it here um watching the gill girls the gilmore girls of course and i just have a water bottle and my um water container bottle thingy um there's nothing in it. I have it just sitting there because I was going to put ice in it but um i'm running low on ice and i want to get some ice coffee though First of all, I kind of rearranged my freezer a little bit, got rid of some stuff later on this week. I am cleaning this out again. It needs to, I clean it out every week. 
just to keep it up and keep it going but um i wanted to show you that there's some new ice trays made this is the cafecito it's liquidized right now i just put it in here and so is this one but this is what ooh, the cubes came out looking like let me my fingers are totally clean i just washed them so i could show you this but look at how they came out they came out in like big thick chunks which don't look at my fingers they're i was um touching the coffee thing and i got a little bit of coffee but they're clean though <laughs> but yeah and then i remember i think i showed you guys this in a haul that i purchased uh this scooper exactly for this container so we can just scoop out ice and we don't have to worry about freezing our hands and people or me sticking my hands in there to serve people you know my hands are always clean i'm always con constantly washing them but i like the method of having a scooper and I found a clear one at the Dollar Tree. So that worked out just great for this little bucket. And I'm going to keep filling and filling with ice. The, this method is good too when I run out of ice. Like you can tell I ran out of my traditional ice bag. <laughs> so this here helps out to make new ice for new, uh, new cafecito and stuff like that. I am going to purchase later on um, an actual ice machine because my last ice machine broke. Um, like I guess I told you guys I was so sad about that uh, my other ice machine broke so I am going I'm gonna purchase another one but this ice I got these for right now um, they were about eight dollars for the two which I probably could have put that eight dollars toward like another ice machine but I wanted these for right now too also I wanted them because I told you later on when I get mint and lemon I'm gonna make some mint and lemon one I'm gonna make some really nice good ones you know what I mean like with the lemon the mint and all that kind of stuff in there and then as far as the uh coffee ones this is what the coffee ones look like i put them in their own little container don't mind the fridge i gotta clean it <laughs> um this is clean though it just it looks like that because it's all the iced coffee in there you know what i mean now when you make iced coffee though um iced cafecito cubes you have to really be careful because when you're taking them out of these little trays they still they melt a lot quicker than the regular ice does here so you really got to get them out really fast and get them in here really fast and stick them in here really fast and close the door really fast <laughs> that's what you got to do because they melt really fast that's why they look the way they do on the bottom of them and they're a little melty but they work out really good i could take these out Look how nice they came out, though. See, they, they get all over your hands. They melt quick. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get them back in there. And then later on, me and me and you <laughs> are going to make some ice cafecito with them. Butterflies, that is the ice situation. They came out so good. I am so excited and blessed that I was able to get a chance to do that. I was looking for those silicone trays for a while i prefer to have them in gray and white but i just picked up what i could for right now i got them from walmart i believe they were a certain brand i can't remember what brand they were but they were kind of right next to that brand that's like a little holographic -y and kind of next to um uh is it Reed drummond her her brand you know like the whole floral brand right there in like the little kitchen like utensil aisle you know if you go to walmart often you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but um yeah so i'm gonna clean up my little area here throw another little laundry and i'll chat with you guys in a little bit really quickly this is what i was talking about the other day in my vlog um see how this cafecito is hot coffee well i cooled it down and it's leftover coffee so it's still good it's freshly from today i had some a little while ago um but when it, it's it's got to cool down a little bit more but once it does this will go inside of that container that i made in the last vlog of iced coffee that goes in the refrigerator and it does not go to waste i use it for iced coffee so this might be my iced coffee that i use in there a little bit later who knows you know what i mean so i actually just wanted to show you guys that and then i'll come in here and i'll change the coffee and the water and everything and then start a new one tomorrow and that's that's my routine for iced coffee. Then you don't really have to buy uh, iced coffee. Occasionally, don't get me wrong, okay? Occasionally, <laughs> I'll buy like a Starbucks iced coffee or a Dunkin' Donuts or one that I'm interested in. I'll buy one to try them because they have like different, you know, I guess added flavors. It's just the regular, you know, um, I think it's the Maxwell blend 
so you know the regular blend you know it could be like regular iced coffee for all the time and then like the dunkin one and i don't know if they make a dunkin one do they yeah i think they do i think i, I can't remember right now off the bat um and then um i'll buy like especially the starbucks one. Oh, the stoke one yeah i'll buy the stoke one too because the stoke ones a lot of those ones come in their own flavors you know a lot of them you know a lot of the brands do there's other brands too that i haven't tried yet which i plan to try um but occasionally i'll buy those ones and then have those in the refrigerator but sometimes when we're not buying i prefer to make my own and this is how i make it so i just wanted to show you what i was talking about yeah i should have did these yesterday i think i did show you but i'm showing you from the leftover from this the day that i make hot coffee which is this that'll be what's going to go in that container so yeah just wanted to show you that guys Hey, beautiful butterfly so it's about that time that i go ahead and make this ice cafecito right here using the ice um cafecito cubes and it's very simple everybody probably already knows how to do this but i'm gonna add my cubes i'm gonna add about because it's coffee i'm gonna add maybe like hold on it's kind of stuck <laughs> Ooh, they really froze to the bottom hold on it is about that time that I'm going to make that iced cafecito and um, using the um, iced coffee, uh, cafecito cubes. I'm going to use the cubes and the Dunkin' Donuts creamer. I'm not going to froth the creamer because I want to try it out this way and then next time I'll try it off camera froth it and see how I like it before I even share it with you guys and get you onto it because I don't want to share something with you guys and it not be right so but this I know it's right I've had it before <laughs> so I'm just gonna add about four cubes because it is coffee you don't want to add a bunch a bunch of cubes um, depending on how much coffee you want. I only want a little bit right now. So I added four cubes and then I'm just going to, let me move that over. I'm going to add the creamer right on top of that. So, oh, hello. I'm going to add about this much creamer and then I'm just going to let it, see how it's like already melting into it. And then that will actually come up to maybe about here once it starts melting. So I actually want to try making some creamer cubes as well to do it the opposite way because I think that you'll get less creamer and more of the coffee, you know. And when you get less creamer, it's less calories for some of you that are on a calorie kick with coffee. But look at how good this is looking. And then the more it melts, the more it'll turn right into ice coffee. And then ice coffee, though, and then it gets it nice and cold So at the same time. So super excited i'm gonna wait till it melts a little 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 bit the the cafecito in there so that um i can get a little bit of the coffee and not all of that creamer so but that's about it that's how much i'm getting you guys can put as much as you want i don't want to put that much creamer in it you can even add more of the cubes but i only added four so it could come up to like right here and then that's how much cafecito i will drink so but yep, yeah, there it is. Look how yummy it looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks so yummer. Butterflies getting that laundry going. Um, I pretty much already have, this is like my third load that I'm putting away. I have one more, actually two more loads. I had a lot of laundry this week because we got some stuff planned coming up. And I wanted to have a grip of our stuff clean before we do do our plan. So got that going I, I'm like all over the place today so you're gonna see a lot of little different things going on <laughs> um I have to clean my table off and the cafecito station off as well there's a lot going on you guys I try to keep it cool and clean in here because uh keep it cool in here because it is hot but yeah gonna get this laundry done and out of the way I gotta clean that corner still working on this nice coffee that's still like melting it's actually melting pretty creamy so um i kind of like it how it's melting real creamy and it tastes creamy instead of like more coffee-ish i like that about it i don't know but i'm gonna work on this as well hey butterflies i'm right here at the little 
the, my little desk. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I ended up putting um, one of these new wax scents in the wax scents today. The center. This one smells so darn good. Like, oh my goodness, it smells so good. I put it in my bathroom. I have to change the one in the living room, and I will do that prob that one probably tomorrow. And um, oh, um, really quickly, I also hold on. Let me chat with you after this about what I was going to tell you, but. Yeah, this one, it smells so darn good. I add two every time, and it smells up the house really, really, really good. But I had to show you that it smells so good. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been a little bit of a rough day. <laughs> I've been doing a lot around the house, off camera, a little bit on camera, and it just seems like I can't get enough of what I need to do done. Um, it's a lot of organization, a lot of decluttering. Again, um, not so, so much, but it's like areas... Like, I'm doing area by area by area. Like, I was doing my washroom. I did that off camera. I did a lot of it in there. Because I'm going to do some changes in there soon. And then, um, like, off the station, I had to, like, you know when you take out stuff, you got to put stuff away. You got to clean again. <sighs> that's what's been going on right now. And on top of that, I sat down, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I have a new cleaning routine list now down. I made a whole cleaning schedule from Monday through Friday. Um, I don't clean on the weekends and Fridays I don't really clean either but I will do a quick house pickup before the weekend um, and I kind of just pick up a little put away any dishes that are clean that need to be put away I'll clean my room I'll make my bed I'll clean up the girls room uh, maybe tidy up the bathroom if it needs it throw out the trashes stuff like that but I won't do major cleaning like uh, mopping sweeping vacuuming wiping down countertops um, dusting all that kind of stuff I won't do on Fridays <laughs> but I will do you know other, other stuff I'm telling you guys about but that's why I made out a new cleaning list book I have that paint notepad for everyday to-do list but I made out a cleaning list for every day of the week of things that I want to do and or, uh, stuff that I want to clean and organize. And I have to do it in order. So I did it from Monday through Friday because it helps me a lot to um, just get done what I need to do in an orderly fashion. So by the time Friday comes or Thursday for my major cleaning day, for the bulk of the cleaning day, I won't be like, oh my gosh, I forgot that. So I have to go back and clean it and then go back and clean what I just cleaned. You know what I mean? It's just to go back and forth. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so that's the list that I did and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I got that done. I didn't put all everything that I wanted to do in there yet. I still have a few more organizational things that I want to put in there too because um, I actually am going to be organizing a lot more stuff here soon. Um, a lot more stuff I want to organize and I'm saving up for containers, saving up for not really so much containers, but like, you know, just things that I would need to organize those certain areas. And it's not very much because I'm pretty organized for the most part of it. It's just there's a few areas that I know I'm lagging on. So that's why I'm uh, procrastinating and planning everything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was the update for this afternoon. I am uh, about 95% done with my um, washing. I just gotta, I'm drying a load and then I gotta dry one more and then put away all that and I'm done washing and drying for the day. <laughs> and I'm a little sweaty right now. I'm gonna take a shower later. Um, and um, yeah, I got my to-do list ready for tomorrow. I got a big, big thing. I got a lot to do tomorrow too. So I'm like, okay, I'm pretty much done with everything I needed to do today though. It wasn't very much, but it was a lot. It was moderately a lot, if I should say. I don't know if you'll get it, but yeah, I kind of just cleaned up in here. Um, kind of got it all nice and tidied up. I got my table ready to be cleaned for tomorrow. And um, I'm going to do that shelf right there. I was probably going to do it today instead of doing it tomorrow. So I'm going to do this shelf right now in a few minutes. Um, I need to declutter it and um, get rid of some stuff on it. That's what I want it to do right now. So I think I'm going to do. Oh, and then this little shelf down there as well. See that little shelf with the baskets and the pastry dish there? Yeah, I want to clean all this up as well and then maybe uh, go through these drawers again. But at the same time, I don't really have a whole lot to go through. Those just need to be organized a little bit better. <laughs> They're organized, but they need to be organized a little bit better. So I'm working on that as well. <laughs> and then my kitchen, I was working on a few things in there. 
I have dishes that I need to get done that I have not done. And I don't want to do them right now, you guys. I'm just dished out. I just want to take a break. So I think I'll just do them tomorrow. It's not a whole lot. Just, you know, a thankful. But I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> um, and I think, hold on. And I think that we're going to grab Subway for dinner because Mama pooped and she don't want to cook today. Plus, I forgot to take out the chicken that I was supposed to take out. So, I think we're grabbing Subway today. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah. Anyways, break and I'll talk to you later. Hey, butterflies. I'm going to go ahead and make some more of that tea that I was telling you guys about. I just make it with the natural uh, Clover Valley tea bag. You can put whatever tea you want. I was looking for like a peach tea to like sweeten up with like a little different flavor, but I don't have that on hand. So I'm just going to use what I have. I'm throwing the four bags in here like that. I have some hot water and I'm going to let them just sit here for a little while. And this is what the tea looks like when you're done making this. Um, and look, I used those big chunky ice cubes, and ooh, it looks so yummy. I can't wait to try it. And then once this sits out for a little while, um, I'll go ahead and I will add some sugar. Not a lot of sugar. I'll add sugar, and then you can add sugar or you can add honey. You can add whatever you want, you know, Splenda, anything you want to it. I think I already showed you how I make it, but um, I wanted to show you what I was making right now, and... Uh, the other day I said I was going to make some more. So here I am making some more. Um, and yeah, and then I'll just add some sugar a little later. Um, this looks so delicious. I cannot wait to drink this right now. I'm so thirsty. I had some water, but like sometimes you just get that hankering for something sweet. And a little natural sweet tea is good even though the sugar is not natural. Look how it's changing while I'm talking to you. Isn't that awesome? Like you can see it changing. <laughs> Um, but it'll sit here probably for about 30 minutes um, and brew up a little bit because uh, there's warm water in here. And then what I'll go ahead and do is I will put the sugar, take out the tea bags, stick it in the freezer, and it should be good for later this evening or maybe even for tomorrow. So hope, hoping, hopefully it is good for later on this evening because Hubby loves this stuff for dinner. <laughs> I know he's going to want some for dinner, so that's why I made a whole new batch right now. Um, and it's going to go perfect if we have some Subway sandwiches, a nice cold tea, you know, with uh, some Subway sandwiches. Oh, it'll be the most healthiest and yummy dinner ever and not only that i think i have some berries that um i was gonna try and stick a couple berries in here i think that will look really yummy so let me see if my berries are good maybe i can add some in here um i usually would like to add a lemon here but lately i don't know like i just want the tea plus i'm out of lemons right now so we're lemonless right now and that's not good because <laughs> i use lemon lemon water i haven't been able to make that in a while so but anyway, I'm going to let this brew up. Look how it changed all dark. It was all light right now. Look how it changed in just that like minute or so. Huh, looks good. All right, guys. I'm going to drink this. Relax. And I'll get back to you in a minute. Got my iced tea here. It looks so yummy. Oh, um, I kind of discovered something right now on my own. And it's probably a known thing. And I'm just discovering it myself. <laughs> um, your sugar does all better when you barely put the, the um, warm water in there. So I mixed the sugar in with the tea right now while it's brewing hot and it mixed in really good and it didn't stay at the bottom we don't like that because it stays at the bottom but that it's probably like a duh moment <laughs> like you know what i mean like like you guys probably already knew that and i'm just over here like duh like you guys are like duh you know but <sighs> that was my moment <laughs> so um yeah i went ahead and did that right now and it, and it worked out a lot better versus right now where the sugar is sitting on the bottom See, I didn't put that much sugar, though, you know. It's sitting at the bottom, but I'm going to mix it in real good while it's cold. But while it's warm, it's better to add it. So, now I know. <laughs> and it'll taste better when it gets colder. So, okay, just a little fun fact. Talk to you in a bit. <laughs> hey, butterflies, last loan is done and folded. I'm going to put it away right now. And I'll vacuum a little later. And I know you're going to be like, what? Oh my gosh. But yes, I wouldn't be me if I didn't do the dishes. <laughs> I went ahead and did the dishes. I just have those two in there. And then I got to clean my counter up a little bit. But I went ahead and just got it done. Um, 
after I did the tea. So now I'm going to come in here and put the tea inside the refrigerator. But yes, I had to do these dishes, knock them all out of the way. They should be dry here soon. So I can go ahead and put everything back where it belongs and be done with the dishes for today. <laughs> so no dishes and I am so excited to get that done now. Um, there won't be so much. Um, I didn't show you the before and after because it was kind of pointless. But like I said, I wouldn't be me if I didn't get the dishes done. Because I have this thing where dishes have to be done every day. I like a clear sink every day. Even though there's like one or two left in there right now. That's just me. Plus, I wanted to use my air fryer today. And it was frustrating because the air fryer... Uh, thing that goes, thing that goes in the air fryer, this thing here, I don't know what you would call this, the tray, whatever, was, oh, this don't needs a little bit to dry, um, it was dirty, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash them so that tomorrow I can use the air dryer during the day, because I love to have my chicken patties for lunch, you know that, <laughs> and then I went ahead and I organized and put, um, this inside of there, that is, uh, I gotta take that tag off though, I was having some trouble with it, you can see, so I'm gonna re-get it down a little bit and retake it down, um, I, uh, <sighs> Um, I put, um, I don't have the package, but it's like a Louisiana, like, breading type that we use for fried chicken. Uh, I went ahead and put it in there as well. So, that's just a little bit that I was doing. Um, let's go back over here. Um, oh yeah, and I cleaned my room up a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. And I made another glass of some tea for hubby. And kind of semi-cleaned up in here a little bit. It's not too bad. I got to check off some things and see what else I got to get done. I went ahead and um, added, I cleaned the coffee pot and added some coffee grounds in there. So, yeah, everything looks good. I put this down on the chair because I'm going to clean the table. Oh, that coffee smelled good. Oh, made me want some cafecito right now, but that's not going to happen because it's already uh, going to approach evening and dinner time here soon. <laughs> but yeah, let me check the lighting. There we go. But yeah, I just got to get that done and vacuum and I think I'm good. I think I'm going to vacuum tomorrow though because hubby was going to do something outside with the lawn. I don't know what. He hasn't told me yet. Uh, so I think I'm going to check with him first and then yeah. Butterflies, I think that's it for the day. I don't really have much else to do. Um... I'm not going to organize or do anything else for the rest of the day. I'm going to kind of chill. I've already made out all my lists that I need for the next few days. Um, so I think I'm going to chill, watch some TV, put away all that stuff, and then that's about it. So, um, well, I don't know. We are supposed to leave in a little bit. So I think I'll take you with me first before I end the vlog. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. If not, I'll come back on here and I'll end the vlog with you guys. Oh my gosh, butterflies. I totally forgot I was vlogging today. <laughs> <laughs> we're out and about we went to get um our subway i'll show you what i got at home <laughs> we're right here at the bank and then we're gonna head home but i totally forgot i was vlogging um so i didn't show you when we were in the subway but we did get our or sandwiches um i got an unhealthy sandwich because i was craving the, this sandwich that they have there uh next time we go i'll get a healthier one trust me hubby got a healthy one though maybe me and him will swap like bite or whatever we do that we like to share our food that's what we do but yeah and then the lady was so nice in there that she gave us four free cookies Be well did i go like that four free cookies and i forgot to show you those two because we downed them on the way here um i have like one left i can show you the one that we have left um they're from uh otis monk meyer my dad used to work for that company their cookies are so good and they now have them there and um she gave us four i have one left that i was saving to eat with some milk when we get home after we eat our sandwiches but she was so nice she gave us four free ones because she overcharged on the avocado for hubby and she felt bad and i felt bad so she didn't have to do that but she was so nice to do it nice to do it anyway so that was nice of her thank you girl i don't know her she don't watch my channel but yeah anyway <laughs> let me show you this cookie though it's so good the last one <laughs> Got this cookie for you, girl, so you can see what it looks like. It's a looking. I've got a cookie, <laughs> but um, let me put the thing down. But look at this cookie, how yummy it is. This one is the raisin, the raisin oatmeal raisin one, and then they have a um, 
we got two she gave us this one two of the uh, macadamia nut and one chocolate chocolate chip one hubby down that one he loved the chocolate chocolate chip <laughs> um but yeah that's her cookie looking so yummy it's so loud loud over here though but mm-hmm i'm gonna save this one for later to eat with some milk the man walking back over here <laughs> look at these beautiful flowers right here guys look at them there's the man with the plan hello mister <laughs> these flowers though are like beautiful they're like in the bush flowers we need some of those mm -hmm. 